Hi, I'm Nikki B, and welcome to my full body strength workout today. Okay, we're going to be working hard for about 35 minutes, so we're going to work the entire body. I've got two pairs of dumbbells here, just because I can vary the weight dependent on the exercise. But all I would say is try and choose a weight that will challenge you, okay, so that you do feel like you've worked. Please make sure that you've warmed up before you start, either the warm up of my channel or warm up of your choice. Put a song on, have a dance, just make sure that you're warm before we get going. Also have a drink and towel to hand, you will get quite hot and sweaty, so it's a good idea to have a back towel just so that you can make sure that your hands are dry and you've got a good grip on those weights. Okay, so the format is, we have nine different sets, okay, each containing three exercises. We will work each of the three exercises for 30 seconds back to back, for so a minute and a half of work, then you'll get a 30 second rest, okay? Then we'll go on to the next set of three exercises, and then we'll repeat those two before going on to the next two, okay? I'll explain as we go along, so please don't worry. Let me just show you the first three exercises before I hit my timer, because once I hit my timer, I think we've only got 10 seconds, and then we get straight into it. So we're gonna do squats. So I'm taking two dumbbells. You can also take one and just hold it in front of your chest like so. I'm taking the two and resting them on my shoulders. So the first exercise is squats, so toes facing forwards or slightly out. Just make sure that when you go down, those knees follow those toes. So coming down into that squat position, back nice and straight, squeeze that bottom on the way up. It's your first exercise. Next one is squat, and then we're going to side lift, lateral lift that leg, alternating. And in the last 30 seconds, we're going to do squat pulses. So we're going to come down, pulse for three, squeeze back up, okay? So, squats, squat lateral lifts, squat pulses. Let's hit that timer. So, get into position with one weight or the two. Squats. So coming down, make sure that back is nice and straight, that core is engaged. Excellent. Well done. Squeeze that bottom on the way up. It's quite a challenging set, this first set. Very leg dominant. So straight into squat, lateral lifts, alternating. So coming up, right, down. Excellent. Superb, keep it going. Oops, and then we're going to squat pulses for the next 30 seconds. Off you go. Pulse for three and squeeze. Pulse for three and squeeze on the way up. Chest is up, back is straight. Excellent. Ooh, ten more seconds. This is tough. I'm feeling it with you. And relax, you've got a 30 second rest. Give those legs a shake. So we have deadlift. We're hinging at the hip. The bottom goes straight back. So just plain deadlift, 30 seconds. Then we have deadlift into a row, upright row. And then we have deadlift into calf raise. So coming down, up onto those toes. Down, up onto those toes. Okay, so get those dumbbells, palms facing your thighs. Stick that bottom back, back is nice and straight. Well done, those knees are slightly soft. Superb. Well done. Okay, so deadlift into that upright row, bringing those 
dumbbells up under that chin. Again, core engaged. Excellent. Okay, just into that deadlift. So this time deadlift up onto those toes. You've got it. Well done. Almost there. Ten more seconds. Okay, place those down. Give it a shake, give it a twist. And we're gonna go back to those delightful squats. So just to recap, it was normal squats, squat lateral side lift, and then squat pulses. And then we'll repeat the deadlifts, and then we'll move on to the next exercises. So are you ready? With one or two dumbbells, or drop one dumbbell halfway through. We're not literally drop it. Squats. So again, toes facing forwards, or you can have them slightly out, kind of to the five pass, five two. But again, just make sure those knees follow those toes. That chest is up, and that back is straight. It's almost like you imagine you're sitting in a chair behind you. Excellent. Okay, so squat down as you come up, side lift, nice and controlled. Well done. Keep going, 10 more seconds. And then we go on to the, the horrid one, the pulses. Ready, off we go. So pulse for three. Squeeze on the way up. And keep breathing, keep that chest up. Whew. Fantastic. Give me 10 more seconds. Oh, last one. Relax, place those weights down. Again, give it a shake. Okay, give those quick, those quads a quick stretch. Okay, so we're going back to those deadlifts. So just plain deadlift, deadlift to upright row, deadlift to calf raise. So taking those dumbbells, palms of those hands, facing those thighs. That bottom is going back. Back is nice and straight. Wonderful. So now we're going to that deadlift to upright row. Bringing those kettle, sorry, kettlebells, dumbbell <laughs> under that chin. I was doing kettlebells this morning. Okay, so now that deadlift up onto those toes. That bottom's going straight back. Wonderful. Excellent. And relaxed. Okay, watch me for the next 
exercises. We have chest press, so laying down, those, back to those arms touching the floor. You're going to push those dumbbells up above your test, chest, up for two, down for two. Next 30 seconds, we're going to alternate. Okay, and then we're going to come up, we're going to place those dumbbells down slowly, and we're going to go into press ups. So either on those knees, or on those toes. Are you ready? So, pushing up and lower. Pushing those dumbbells up above your chest. Nice and controlled. Back to those arms, just tapping the floor. Okay, so now we're going to come down and you're going to do one arm up and the second one. Just alternating. Fantastic. Keep it going. Okay, safely put those dumbbells on the ground before you turn over. So make sure those wrists are under those shoulders, so even on those knees. Coming down into that press up or up on those toes. This is going to feel tough. Excellent. Make sure those elbows go about 45 degrees. do bent over row. So taking that dumbbell in that right arm, step that right leg back, row. Elbow going to the ceiling, arm brushing past the side of your body. We're going to do right, then left, then you're going to pick up both feet together and we're going to alternate. Okay, like so. So, place one dumbbell down for the time being in that right arm, row. Back is nice and straight, that elbow's going straight to that ceiling. That's it. Okay, swap arms, so left arm this time. Left leg is back. Check that elbow is brushing past your body, it's not flaring out to the side. Okay, pick up that other dumbbell. Feet together, lean forwards, back straight, alternating. Superb. Three. And relax, place those weights down. Give it a little stretch, and we're going to go back down for those chest presses. So remember for this one, the back of those arms are touching the floor, and we're pressing up above our chest. This time for the alternating arms, we're going to have our hands up in the air, and we're going to come down. Okay? So let's get ready. Up we go. So again, up for two down for two, up for two, down for two. Wonderful. Okay, so those arms up in the air, bring 
one arm down. Again, keep it in line above your chest. Those backs to those arms, just tapping the floor. put them down. I'm not going to lie, this is going to feel tough this time for the press up. Check those wrists under those shoulders. Again, going back, those elbows 45 degrees. Whew. After those chest presses, this is really burning. shake. Well done. Okay, we're going to go back to those rows. So right arm, left arm, and then alternating arms. Are we ready? So we're going to start with the right arm first. Just need the one dumbbell to begin. Step back with that right leg, the left arm, and rest on that left knee. So, coming up. Make sure that you're not rotating here. Excellent. Okay, swap hands, left hand this time, left leg back, right arm resting on that right knee. Stay strong. Okay, pick up that second dumbbell, feet together, lean forward, back nice and straight, core engaged. Alternate that row. Again, squeeze at the top in that shoulder blade. Okay, shake it out. Watch me for the next exercises. Taking both dumbbells, or you can just hold the one in front of your chest. We're going to reverse lunge right for 30 seconds, reverse lunge left for 30 seconds, and then we're going to stand forwards, toes facing forwards, and we're going to alternate curtsy lunges side to side. So reverse lunge right to begin. So big step back, make sure that you've got that nice 90 degree angle in those knees. You're all coming up straight up and down, okay, you're not bending forwards. My legs are still burning from those squats. Straight into it, left leg this time. Wonderful. Toes facing forwards, curtsy, right, sorry, left leg back, right leg. Again, remember to breathe. And relax. Okay, we're moving on to the upper body. 
So we have in and out, elbows tucked in. In, bicep curl, out. In, out. Then we have alternating bicep curl, so palms facing our thighs, and we're just alternating, like so. Finishing with cross body curl, coming across the body. Okay? So, in and out to begin. Up, out, in, out. Remember, elbows are tucked in, our core is engaged and our back is nice and straight. You may find it easier for balance, take a step back. That's it, well done. Okay, so we're going to the alternating now. So. That's it. Nice and controlled. We're not swinging them. We're controlling it on the downward movement as well. We're not letting it free fall. It works just as hard on the downward movement. Okay, so cross body curls, coming up, so that dumbbell is almost, top of the dumbbell is almost in line with that shoulder, and those arms are staying close to the body. Again, not swinging, controlling it. Wonderful. Okay, get those arms a stretch, and we're going to go back to those lunges. So reverse lunge right, reverse lunge left, curtsy lunges, alternating. All feeling good? Okay, let's get ready. So take those dumbbells. Just with the right. Superb. Okay, swap, we got our left. Facing forwards, we're going to those curtsy lunges. So alternating, getting those toes facing forwards. Last one. And relax. Give those legs a little kick. Stretch them out. We're going to go back to those biceps. So we have in and out, followed by alternating curls, followed by cross body curls. So remember, elbows stay in, they're not flaring out. Are we ready? So core engaged, back nice and straight. Alternating bicep curls. 
slight squeeze at the top before lowering it back down. Oh, I'm getting warm now. Five seconds, and we're going to go into those cross curls. Okay, so alternating, keeping that arm close to your body. That's it, ten more seconds. And relax. Okay, so we have triceps now. We've done the biceps, we're going to work the triceps. So we're going to do tricep kickback. Back nice and straight, and we're going to squeeze that arm back. So squeeze, really feeling it in this part of the arm. We're going to do right, then left. And then we're going to drop the weight and we're going to come for tricep dips. Fingers facing our heels and we're just going into those tricep dips. You can also place your bottom on the floor for this one. So tricep kickback. Back straight, neck neutral. Squeeze, control it, really feel it in the back of that arm. It's almost like a little pinch at the top. left arm. So squeeze. Now for the dips, like I said, you can also put your bottom on the floor for modification or if you want to intensify it further and you've got a sturdy chair or step close by, you can do it off of that. But just make sure that it's sturdy enough that you're not going to fall. Place that down, down we go. So fingers facing our heels if you're doing this way, and just bend those elbows. Those elbows are going straight back behind you, they're not going out to the side. After those tricep kickbacks, you should really be feeling it in those arms. Well done, keep going. And relax. Okay, so next one, we're going on to shoulders. We have a lateral row. So we're going to have those palms facing our thighs and we're going to come up to the side, almost like a T coming up. No higher than the shoulder height. Then we're turning, palms facing on our thighs. We're going for single alternating front raises. Okay, and then final one here. We're going to go for shoulder press, alternating as well, or doing double. So lateral raise, going into that T. Those elbows are slightly soft, so they go no higher than those shoulders. For this one as well, you can take that step back if it makes it more comfortable for balance. But just make sure that back is nice and straight. Well done. Okay, front raise. So, single, alternating, or if your weights are particularly light, you can do double arm. Okay? Again, those elbows are slightly soft. Excellent. Okay, into that shoulder press. So having your dumbbells here, going up, up, or double. Okay, depending on the weight of those dumbbells. Those shoulders will be tired on this third exercise. Give me five more seconds. And relax. Give those arms a shake. 
the shoulders are roll, and we're going to go back to those triceps. So we've got a tricep kick back with the right, left, and then dips. The final set is the core ab, and we've only got three exercises. We're going to repeat them through twice, and then you are finished, okay? So let's go for that tricep kick back. Right arm to begin. This will feel tougher this round. So squeeze back, really squeeze in the back of that arm. Well done. Control it. I know it's easy to just let go of it, but control it. Make those arms work. Feel that burn. Okay, swap arms, left arm. Well done. Five more seconds. Okay, down to those tricep dips. So fingers facing those heels, so elbows going straight back. Again, you can modify this, putting your bottom down. Ooh, okay, up we come. So we're gonna work those shoulders again. We've got those lateral raises to that T. Then we've got those front raises, singles or double, depending on your weight, up to those shoulder presses. Again, single or double, depending on that weight that you are using. Just make sure that you go with form for this. Okay. Over speed. So, lateral raises to begin. You're doing amazingly. We have got just five more minutes of work. Ooh, okay, front raises. I'm going with singles. Again, you've got the option of doing doubles. Or you can do single, single, double. A mix of the two. Excellent. Okay, finish with those shoulder presses. So up to the ceiling or one arm at a time. Fantastic, okay. So we're going to finish with that core and that ab work. So bicycles to begin. Opposite elbow to knee. Make sure you've got that gap between the chin and your chest. Then we're doing full sit-up, two knees in. Okay, or you can do thigh crunches. Going over to finish, we have slow mountain climbers. So in that upright plank position, slowly bringing the knee to the chest. So, bicycles to begin. The opposite elbow to knee. Don't pull on that neck. That's it, keep going. Sit up to knee in. So the shoulder blades are touching the floor. 
Coming up and release. Again, you can do thigh crunches as well for this one. Quite explosive on the way up. Over we go onto our front. Since that upright plank position, wrist under the shoulders, bringing those knees to the chest, nice and controlled, nice and slow. It's harder than it looks, and neck is neutral. So you have 30 seconds, and we're going to repeat that through once more. Okay, we're not doing two uh, sets of exercises, it's just the same three exercises, just two rounds, and you are finished. Whew. Are you ready? Let's make it count. Let's make this last minute and a half work strong to the end. So we've got bicycles to begin in five. Off you go. So opposite knee to elbow. You're going to be tired, so just pay attention that you're not squeezing, pulling on that neck. Excellent. Push, push, push. Okay, full sit up, two knees in or thigh crunches. Well done, keep going. Here we go, last 30 seconds. Are you ready? Knees to the chest. Nice and controlled. Really feeling it in that core. Excellent. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Five more seconds. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Try one second. Ooh. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure that you cool down now, stretch out either the cool down on my channel or cool down of your choice. Also, make sure that you drink lots of fluids. You've sweated, worked hard. So, this is the little menace then in the background if you could hear snuffling. Make sure you drink those fluids. You've lost. And just enjoy the rest of your day. I look forward to seeing you again on one of my future workouts. Bye for now.